What a wonderful day. This is Carlos Montero from the field. Three of the biggest start in the football in the whole world. They were playing today the same day. We start with Leo Messi, who has a not very happy day. Right now, Robert Lewandowski is playing. So far, Mexico is playing better than them. And the number three is one of the best players of the world, the French Kylian Mbappe, that's going to play in the last match of today is going to play France against Australia, 10 o'clock uh, local time. What we want to see, you know what I'm saying, is uh, France, the most important thing of tonight is France was the last champion, was the last champion in Russia, but there is a problem. In the last few years, the champion, the World Cup champion, didn't make to the second round. They didn't make after the group's uh, games. Let's see what's happened with France. Let's see with Mbappe. The game is going to be. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. This is the game is going to be at 10 o'clock tonight after Mexico and Poland. But now let's talk at somebody we love very much here in from the field. We love very much in Telesur English and Telesur Spanish is Diego Armando Maradona. Diego Armando Maradona is always in our heart of people who love. Uh, soccer and Diego it was very important Diego is not with us anymore but in the past World Cup when he was working with us he always make a big difference let's talk a little bit about Diego Diego Armando Maradona showed that he seemed to be from another planet when he scored two goals in the quarterfinals against England but they were not simple goals they were the ones that are still remembered today in the soccer memory. The hand of God and the goal of the century. The victory of the Albiceleste led by the Argentinian over the English team represents the pass to the semi-final. In the first half, Maradona gave a recital of another level at the Azteca Stadium in Mexico. In the 51st one minute, the 10 scored the 1-0, immortalizing his hand of God goal. Also, the England players complained to the referee for validating the goal score with his hand. The judge let the play pass. But after only three minutes, what nobody expected happened. The national team will score the second goal of the match after an individual play by Maradona from the middle of the field, in which he took five opponents in front of him, being one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, where Diego scored what today we know as the best goal in the history of the World Cup, making the score 2 for 0. I think it is a dream goal, not because I scored. As Enrique says that he left me alone, he says that he gave me a pass that left me alone. He gave it to me far from the goal. I have the look to face and see the English players that couldn't catch me. They couldn't reach the ball. When I see Fen, we hesitate. I throw the ball in front of him. I throw it to him. When I throw it in front of him, he wants to put his hand on me. But I was coming at 100 per hour. Nobody stopped me. When I was going to kick it, I saw Chilton covering my goal. Then I fade and play short and Chilton is lying on the floor and I push it and I feel a kick from Buckcher on the right ankle, which brought my ankle, but the joy of the goal was so great that it didn't hurt me. Despite Gary Lineker's goal at 81, the English could not equalize the score and the team led by Diego Armando Maradona took the victory. This result allowed the Albiceleste to take an important step in the World Cup that later allowed them to be proclaimed champions in Aztec lands. Two victories against the British were Maradona's other great feat in that World Cup and should be remembered. It was the first match against the most important team in the United Kingdom after the Falklands War, a reason why some saw the sporting encounter as a revenge for the Argentine defeat in the war conflict.
Uh, can you hear what's going on behind me? This game is really exciting. Was a penalty kick and Mexico didn't make it. It's the mano de Diego, the hand of Diego Maradona who saved it because Diego, I'm sure he wants that this game end with a tie. I have another story before going to the break. Uh, Saudi Arabia, the government, tomorrow declare a national date of celebration. Of course, they did something amazing in this World Cup and tomorrow they are going to celebrate. Argentine people, we are going to cry. There is nothing to do. This is sport. Somebody wins, somebody loses. We'll be right back with more here from the field.